Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll walk you through a Kubernetes setup, Kubernetes 1.24 with Docker D as your container runtime. Uh, so since 1.24, everybody knows that the Docker has been deprecated, but uh, Mirantis is maintaining the CRI Docker D that can still help you to run Kubernetes 1.24 onwards version with uh, Docker as the runtime. So we'll go through how to do that and um, they are maintaining it. So I just saw three days back a release happened. So that means it's active project, they're maintaining it. Uh, there is not much to add when it comes to the shim layer, which is talking. Yeah, let's let's get started. And before that, this video is brought to you by Armo, uh, Commodore, Cloudcast Assistic, uh, and Speedscale, uh, Slim AI, and Teleport. And also uh, I would like to welcome our newest uh, member, Avesha, um, as the org member. So let's get started. So this is the uh, CRI Docker D uh, Mirant in. So you can see that it is hosted under Mirantis, and you can see it three days ago the release uh, v0.2.5. So let's download the AMD64 version. Copy. Up you get, and we'll do on all the instances. So this is a one control plane, um, three workers, the usual stuff, which is there. So tar hyphen X PF. Let's copy this command. So that's easy. Paste, paste. And paste now before installing uh, you know uh, rest of the components first let's install docker onto this particular system so what we'll do is simple apt install docker.io and yes so let's do it on all the nodes And now we'll do a system CPL start Docker and system CPL enable Docker. And I would like to do that on all the nodes. Okay, so now we have Docker, so Docker PS should be there and nothing works. Uh, so now let's go to into our CRI directory. I think we are already there. Yeah, so now let's do the next steps. So next we have to MKDIR uh, and install CRI Docker D. So let's do that. Done on this. Let's CD into this. CD and paste CD and paste. Cool. The next step actually is to edit the CRI Docker dot service file and add some of the lines over there. So I'll just copy paste these, and there are two. One is this file the service one and the another one is the CRI docker dot socket so we need to do both so I'll copy both the files still here and do that on all the nodes so let's do it here
Now let's do the daemon reload and enable the CRI Docker dot service, which we just did, and uh, the CRI Docker dot socket. And done for worker one, for worker two, and for worker three. Uh, we also need obviously kube ADM, kube CDL, and stuff. So we'll install all these components. So this is just adding the repository, installing kube ADM, kube CTL. I will not install 1.24.0. I'll instead I'll do 1.24.3, and I'll run the same commands across all the nodes. So. Uh, I won't show that. So next section, you do the memory swap off and also the, uh, you know, slash sysctl kubernetes.conf adding the IPv4, IP forward, the NF calls, IPv, IP tables, and IP6 tables. So let's do this on all the nodes. And now uh, we will be pulling the images. And you can see in the CRI socket, we'll be giving uh, CRI Docker D as the sock. So let's copy that. Yeah, we need to change the version to 1.24.3. So now we are running the um, image pull with the CRI socket and it is downloading the kube API server, controller manager, scheduler, kube proxy, the pause, and then the etcd and the code DNS. Now we'll be running kube DM init command on the control plane. Uh, we'll be specifying the uh, pod network, upload certs, Kubernetes version as 1.24.3, control plane endpoint as the IP address of this uh, node. And yeah, the CRI socket as var run CRI docker D dot sock. Let's press enter. What it will do is it will actually start creating the directories, uh, the, the certificates, creating pod manifests. So you can see that the in, in folder slash etc slash Kubernetes manifest, uh, it has created all the manifest for API server, controller, manager, scheduler, and uh, it has it has already started everything, booted up kubelet. Then it has asked us to create the directory and uh, copy the admin conf. It is actually the kube config file. So let's do that. And now you can see that we can we can export this. This can be used to join a node as a control plane node. The HA part uh, can be done later, but for this, we'll be using only one control plane and three workers. So we need to do the kubeadm join of the worker nodes using this command. So let's run this on the worker nodes. So in the kubeadm join command, I have just added a CRI socket because there can be multiple sockets that can be there like container D and stuff. So you want to make sure that you are connecting, uh, you're using the uh, CRI socket as docker D dot sock. Uh, so let's again run this command on all the nodes. W3. And then on the control plane node, you can start running kubectl get nodes. And you'll be able to see all of the control plane and worker nodes getting ready. And if I do kubectl get pods, you can see I have all the stuff which is ready. Now let's apply the flannel network. So flannel is there. Now kubectl get pods, even A, you can check. Stuff must be starting on, the demon sets are starting on. In the meanwhile, we can also start kubectl run, nginx hyphen hyphen image, Nginx. 
pod is created, kubectl will get pods. Pod is in container creating. Pod O wide, we can see on which node it is running. It is running on the worker one, W1. And if we come here, we create a scheme. Screen, we do Docker PS, uh, grep Nginx. We'll be able to see that the Nginx pod is running and it is using Docker um, as the runtime. We can also inspect like kubectl describe pod nginx we'll be able to see uh, the container id so yeah you have successfully created three node four node kubernetes cluster with three worker nodes and one control plane nodes with docker d as the container runtime if i do a hyphen o wide you can see the container runtime as Docker. So fantastic. Even after the Docker deprecation from Kubernetes, uh, Mirantis is maintaining that. You can still use Docker. The K3S PR is also merged into the master branch uh, of including the hyphen hyphen Docker flag so that it can actually use the CRI Docker D. Uh, so I hope you like the video and uh, thank you to all the uh, members. Armo, Commodore, Cloudcast, Assist, Dig, Speed, Scale, Slim, AI, Teleport, and Avesha, the newest member. Thank you so much. Uh, do check them out. I'll put the links in the description. And thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, I hope you like it. And if you are unable to set up the Docker environment, I'll put the gist in the chat. And also there is a killer coda environment uh, where you can actually just click, go to my scenarios and click on Kubernetes 1.24 with Docker D as the container runtime. It automatically provisions that for you. Um, so, yep. Thank you so much for watching the video and please share that. And please, uh, if you want to use Docker, like you can set up and you can use a CRI Docker D from a Mirantis. It is, it is being maintained for now but uh, I'm, I'm not sure like how how well how frequently it will be maintained how till how uh, till how long it will be maintained so but as of today it is maintained as of today there's a PR that got merged three days back again in the k3s repository as well so people who want stalker it is still there so thank you so much for watching see you in the next one and do tell your views about if you are willing to use stalker as the container runtime for from Kubernetes 1.24 onwards.